Hello everyone, this video is sponsored by OneFootball. OneFootball is the app that you all need. We all have it here in Newcastle Fan Series to get all the latest information on Newcastle United and the Premier League. And January is going to be huge as well with the January transfer window. Make sure you download OneFootball to get all the latest information on incomings and outgoings on Newcastle United. Newcastle Fans TV Yes, uh, we are sponsored by One Football, as you've seen Johnny there. And we've got happy faces because it's not very often that we come home or away this season when Newcastle came away with a win. Obviously, you would have come seen on. the lads live earlier on, you would have seen the match reaction from Johnny. Uh, this is scoring the players, we thought we'd do this at the ground. Considering we're winning a game of football. And the last word is coming up later on tonight, so stay tuned later on. Let's begin. You could have the goalkeeper, Mark Duff, got great save at one. Fantastic save in the first half. Um, real save in the first half. Jamal Lasselles did what Watford's captain was so good to do last week and then switch sides. So you couldn't really see much of it, but when it's in a replay at half time, unbelievable save by our goalkeeper. The second half, so commanding. So commanding, and that's what you need. What's the last bit of the game? Keeper coming. Brilliant. Seemed calling for that though, haven't you? Oh, he needed, do you think he needed a good performance? He needed a good performance. It's not how to make the same after same after same. But the big moment, he's commanded his area so well. He's done his bit of, uh, bit of the game of day and fantastic performance. Um, nine out of ten. We don't do this much often when we're winning games, are we? Nine. Nine. Uh, we'll start off right and left. Uh, I'll go Q and Trippier. He was alright, I didn't see much in the final third, but. Leeds dominated well two thirds of the possession looking at the stats. So defensively, you know, we know that what we're getting with him now. He's a talker, he's an organizer. Um, England and National Gauss Southgate was there today as well. So I think he was all right. I think he was fine. Out of ten. Uh, for me, I was just seeing the Leeds fans were absolutely flying. Seven out of ten. <laughs> and they were laughing. Uh, you got the captain Jamal Sells. Look, he's had a lot of criticism. Myself and Paul has been a lot of criticism today. It was fantastic. A couple of sloppy balls, which nearly just, passed me earlier. Yeah, yeah it, it just was just after Bradford's save. We always talk about the fact he's very good with his head at times. Usually, it hasn't been smart about things, but the clean sheets on the majority of the game came up with an injury. It didn't look too serious, so he's holding off to the away from it, it seemed to be that. So, 8 out of 10 for the captain today. Possibly Fabian Shares. One of his better performances, if not the best that he's had this season. I can't say where he put a foot wrong today. Yeah, Dan James in his half his finish was so bright. He's the yeah. third, but that's for the Leeds fans to discuss. But I think that's probably Shea's probably his best performance this season. You talk about the chances, obviously, to Bravka for his first half, but Leeds didn't really threaten. And I think Fabian Shea is now, I would say, if, if Lasalle wasn't captain at this moment, he would be first choice. So I'll match that, I'll go along. No action can score a little higher. 8 out of 5 for the 8. 8, eight out of 5? 8.5, <laughs> so too, too gone with it. <laughs> elegant man, the beautiful elegant man is back. Paul done it. Interesting on that one. It's solid. Just solid. You have Rafinha, it was always going to be tough. Rafinha looked at the times. It did. But on the whole, it was too bad. He was took a couple of times away. He got into some good areas as well. But it's just it was just it was just poor in terms um, so of the leads that going forward. I thought defensively it's it's, it's a typical poor game performance. Um, I'm, I'm gonna match it. I'm gonna match the defenders today. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna share eight point five, I think it starts eight, I'm gonna go ahead and lose a share. But he came he came off at the right time as well, I must mention that he didn't come off at the right time because I think we need a fresh out in the area to Rafinha. Rafinha in the last five times before done it came off. It's just starting to find a few things as well. Um, it's a few pockets of space, I think it's probably the right We'll move along, move along, because we're getting off camera. I think you've been kind. I think Paul Dummett was skinned too many times for me. But it's a fiend here. Yeah, I know it is. I know it is. I think Dummett was probably the worst out the back for today. But look, he's out. It's only his, uh, well, it's only his second game back to down. I mean, we're not going to pick him. Pick at uh, his performance, but that's the back four. We'll go across the midfield. Um, I'll start with who shall have to go? Well, I'll let you have to go and score in a second. I'll start with Joe Lytton. Came off in jazz, and it's mad to think that. Ooh, I hope it's not serious about Joe Lytton because when I, well, I'm not gonna lie, when I see Sean Longstaff came on, I do go like I'm not gonna lie. Credit Sean, I'm sure one of us will get him in a sec, but yeah, 
um, because he didn't have too much of an impact because of the injury I'll score him a 6 that's only because he didn't have enough game time it was what 34 minutes or something like that or 6 out of 10 but you have there John Green well, what's a good important in the Newcastle game this season that free kick could be the same we've been asking for a turning point we've got two new players in and it's moved on John Green so we're on the dance and the dance um, but that free kick could be massive Great shot at all, great shot at all, and a fantastic shot at first half, which is well seen on their own. Great technique, great technique, and a good performance on top of the shot. And that's probably why, you know, you've got to have a new team. I know people are moving on, and I would have spoken to a lot of people that I'm not the biggest fans of the job of the shot, but you can do more, but that's what it will give you, and it's too fair. No block beats, and um, you can do more than so many times it's been spotted, and it's hard on the ball, and a good performance. Yeah, I like you could have been sprayed the first time as well, so okay. Joel Willick, surprisingly, I thought Sean would start. Uh, it was Joel Willick. I thought it was too long. But he, he grafted. He did graft, and I think there was appreciation towards the end. Similar to the 88th minute, 89th minute, where three of the lads ran over at him. And he grabbed him, saying, well done, well done for coming back and grafting. Obviously, he hasn't got a license to get forward as much this last season. I don't think he was good as nowhere near as good as John Joe Shelby, but I was going to say. I think it's a bit harsh because of something. He could have scored, which is a great hit. Which is a fantastic save. And the special second half, we had much better second half. First half, we had to dig in the but slightly, slightly out of position. But it was the first time he was playing with Keeble Trivia, and he was bound on my team, so he um, the defence a bit. We put that again on the one one rule. John Willey was showing that. John Willey was honestly, there was, there was, I don't know if you remember saying it. Be away in 75 minutes. He was nicked by wins the ball. I think it might be Dallas. I think it was enough to say half the half the half. But slides Dallas because they're probably Dallas. But he just nicks it. But he wins it. And then the team just don't just don't take the box. He just like cuts enough and then goes for a little bit. It's not what you need. After being slightly harsh, he could have had a goal. He could have won. He could have made it a bit more relaxed in that couple of minutes. Believe me. Well, it's my mark, it's not his. I'm still scoring him a seven. Sorry, people, you've let him know that I'm wrong. I think he's too kind of done it. But look, we're good. We're happy, we're happy, we're happy to disagree today. Um, and then we'll move forward to the like, front three. Please start with something. Anyway, um, he's one to pick that up. Um, we'll go with Brian Fraser. Um, I like, no, I like you having match. actually draft his last off again, but we always get that yeah, look, Ryan Fraser and Kuhn should have got a good little partnership with him. I just want to see a bit more from the final third. And I think he has got that in his left. We've seen him at Bournemouth in the early years. And I do think he has got that uh, capability. And I like the partnership with Trippier and uh, Fraser. Like, I think he just need like, an assist on the ball because that's where he's going to get touched down at the end of the season. But again, solid performance and defensive work to take the second like, this, These are the things that you have to take going forward. Because, you know, these players are coming in. You'd have to think it's probably going to be at least two or three players going in the next week. So he wants to sub in the side board. So he, he, he has to be on that side, right on the side going forward. Um, I, I'm going to, in terms of the impact, I don't think he was he had a couple of little moments, but I'm going to step in the middle for the day. I always I, I, I did, I did think the whole team had a Yeah, the SM did better. It was better than last week's performance. He was complaining at the referee loads of times and possibly, possibly may have had a penalty on another day when he was when he came back and obviously he got a yellow card earlier on for twisting but he was he was the threat he got us from A to B literally because we, we, we effectively had what a third of the possession today and most of it was coming out with him. Obviously yes he has his critics but today that was a better performance from I still think he can go another level. So I'll match that I'll go alongside that seven and a half for ESM. Chris Woods against his other side? Yeah against his other side um, first half <laughs> That's simply, but like you say, six for three, six for four, first touch to four, first half. Second half. Is he getting service? That in these two games, if you look at me, he was just giving leads for the picks in the first half. Anything that kind of came like, out, that was towards him, so he was out. Um, but I think he's kind of like the player who will help us in the long run, so in terms of winning the ball, going through the picks, getting players in the position. Sorry, but he's going to say this. So that was a dust that's keeping the back jumping on my bus there, Sarah. The way I'm going out. Hey, hey this, do you know this? Let's have a look at these fans. Yeah, look at the back one. Look at that one. Glen Valley. Get in, man. Honestly, they deserved it. They deserved it today. We're, and, can I just say the fans were my good team? They're not going to get knocked because we've never done really good. But the fans, the 
Williams, minute one to minute 95, 96. You can still hear them now in the buses. You can even in the buses. Come in, man. Enjoy your trip over. Have a few more drinks. Can't pass the bottle. Can't wait. Can't wait. Uh, go back to the bus with one. They were probably frustrating performance in terms of the overall side of things, but uh, again, he knows the same action goes on his little runs and he doesn't decide to keep the ball and he goes to the front. Was he? Just what the boss gave us a long ball and it was the ESM who had it down for good, I think. Yeah, he was a little bit wrong. Yeah, but hey, in the woods, we can have a second look at the competition. I would fancy him in the second box. In the second box, the bus is on. I'm just looking at our happy faces. In terms of Chris, I don't think he's the best player today on the other side. Uh, the first up, Sean Longstaff, actually going to score him high. Uh, I've got a little bit of uh, comments last week saying that I don't think Sean Longstaff did well. I think he pressed his high. And when he, when he came on today, he did that because I was like, oh, oh. Not, not keen on that. Um, Joe Lipp going off, but not around that squad depth. I thought he was brilliant, pressing the ball. Graft his ass off. Didn't give the ball away as much as what we put size on his channel. I'm going to score him. I'm going to get an 8 out of 10. He played, what, an hour? Fantastic for me, and that's one of his better performances. It was absolutely super. You know, it was a great judging game. Game, absolutely super. Like you could have had a nice six minutes running. Like, it was like the last second. It was like every. It's a great, great points. I'm out of words. I'm out of words. Yeah, words. Speechless. He played well. He, he was well. running. He ran right at the very end. That's what I was going to say. He's pressing needs right at the very end. And you know, yes, he had a, the extra, probably a half an hour extra on the rest of the players. But next one was Javier Manquil. As I said earlier, I think that's, that threat of Rafinha stopped when he came on. Interesting. And he like gets criticised. He gets slagged off. Some what didn't he? Sam Milner no, put this up. Javier Manquil changed the game for me. Seriously, you watch us so much today. If you didn't want to get a win at the game. In, in terms of defensive side, Rafinha didn't really do a great deal when he came on, won a couple of free kicks, irritated him, and won the free kick. It was like a St. Maxwell run. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Wins the free kick in a dangerous position. John Joshua scores one in the new case. I think it's going to make it probably a monkey with a line on top because that is what he's done. He's changed the game. And then we've seen Lascelles go off and Kieran Clark, and obviously he's <laughs> not been performing for the last few months. Um, solid. Solid. What was it? 20 minutes? Not even that. 15 to 20 minutes blue stock, which is I'll give him a 7 out of 10. He didn't put a front row organisation. That's what you will get from whatever you think he's doing of his uh, ability. 7 out of 10 for Kieran Clark. This one's going to be interesting. The manager. So it was one what was it, one change. It was Willock who came in for Sean. And any day of the week, you're coming away from Leeds in the Premier League, the shortest journey. And we'll all go home with day one, pretty happy. And we'll come away for one nil win. And we had to win because of Norwich is <laughs> demolished, 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 demolished the second of Ranier. Fantastic, yeah, clean sheet again. How many times we talked about that? Defensively brilliant, set up really well. Yes, he got a little bit lucky with the goal, but you know what? Three points on the board, got a game in hand in Norwich. Now it looks rosy, doesn't it? This is so much better. This is a game. I'm scoring nine, by the way. No, a nine point five. It was almost brilliant. In terms of what we were expecting, I think a lot of Newcastle fans are thinking that Leeds got a massive win last week. I wouldn't say they were lax because of it, but they knew that even if they didn't win the Danes through the draw, Newcastle was still that gap between the two sides. Um, and I think Leeds were taking the point today. I think Leeds were taking the point today. Newcastle kind of had to go for a little bit more. I think the longer they were still in the draw, I think Newcastle kind of had to go for a little bit more. However, anyhow, from Judging them tactically, the first half was pretty even. It wasn't the best of first halves. Not the most prettiest game. It well. wasn't. The both teams were going to put that first half round desperately lost anyway. But the second half, substitutions made. You know, there was a game plan, and that's what we were lacking in the previous manager, and this is what we kind of have now. Um, the substitutions make a huge, huge difference. But that's what you've got to judge a manager over, that's all you can do. Yeah, no, no, because of the 1-0 win performance, 